on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Can It Really Happen? Or man, that's sort of what we call these things. My name is Riley. That is Nick. We're at a little bit different location. This is something we're still expanding on. We're sick of resetting up our cameras and taking them down. So we, we moved Slashcast and this type of thing to a new set. Mm -hmm. So this is this is where we are now. All right. So just bear with us. Hopefully everything sounds okay. We're using different mics. We had these for a while, but whatever. You get the point. Um, but here's the thing, man. We've been doing these series for a while. And everyone's been asked us to do a Texan Massacre 1 for a long time. So we're going to go in blind here. We've talked about it in streams a million times and things like that. But we've never gone in depth. So we're going to do that. Yeah. We're going to go in depth. Uh, let's First of all, let's start with with a multiplayer-themed asymmetrical horror game. Because I, that's kind of... That's our gig. That's our niche. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's what a lot of people are wanting as well. Right. Uh, it, so like that's a, it makes sense to talk about that first. And... and the, the first thing you'd think of, Texas Massacre, is is the format of Friday the 13th, the game. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're going to have to be in, in the woods. You're going to have to be in Texas, in the woods. The thing about Leatherface, first of all, if you're going to talk about Texas Massacre, I think even though the looks and the story of the sequels are important, I think your primary target needs to be the original and, and maybe some of the remake, but mainly the original, yeah. right? So, the house, you know? you got to focus on that house. And being in the woods, maybe being on a main high interstate road yeah. um, in Texas, and that's pretty much it. Right. I mean, just for, you know, gameplay sake, you add a cornfield with a little ass maze. Yeah, uh, cornfield maze. Just for maze. something next to it. Um, maybe, maybe you do go with the hill that goes way down where, you know, they, they went looking first. Yeah, like in, the, in, a, in a crick. In a yeah, crick Looking there. for the crick, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then you could have something like... Uh, little small huts that are in the woods. You know, not like not like cabins, not as complex as Friday the Teens, but like just small huts you could hang out in that maybe have some sort of like small resources. I'm talking like a small shed, and they have like a med spray, yeah. something like that, right? But the main thing is, is you're in the woods, you are stranded, and there are no items. Like I don't think you should really be able to fight back unless there's like a select. Uh, I think it'd be neat if what if there was like one main shotgun. In, and it was a it was a shotgun, in the house, like in on mountain above the fireplace. But of course, if he's there's family for te for Leatherface, so like, do you have to risk going through the family? That's really interesting. Like, would it be sort of a uh, a deceit style where um you know one person obviously is going to be Leatherface, but maybe the other person chooses or is chosen to be um either uh the hitchhiker, or um. The, the gas station attendant character, one of the family members. And Leatherface does well outside of the house. Well, I mean, he does well inside, but he does better outside the house than maybe your other character, the other family member. So he is, you know, sort of the house protector type of thing. Yeah, maybe. Th yeah, that'd be like, I. what if it was like a four on like eight situation? Like how it is in the movie. A family versus a group of teenagers that are traveling through Texas. I call to be the grandpa every time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe maybe one of them could be like an AI. You're right. Like if, if if you walk into the house, the grandpa starts yelling, "What are you doing in my house?" <laughs> like you know, then that triggers Leatherface. He gets a cue from that. Yeah, it, it'd be it'd be really interesting to to have you know that team on team style because some characters need to do better than others. I mean, Leatherface should be faster. I mean, in the movie, he's pretty fast. Yeah, um, especially if you're considering the remake in that mix, like right. he's fast as shit. Right. Yeah. So I mean, he can do a little bit better outside than maybe you, you know your other family members, your gas station tenant, your hitchhiker type characters. Um, and then it's sort of like a towery defense game in, mixed in with asymmetrical horror. Like the way to win is you got to get inside the house and get something and do something else. Not 100 percent sure what well, that would end okay. up being. Okay. Hear me out. What if? What if since. One of the things like Friday's Need does, you start in the middle of it. You're mm -hmm. in like uh, real three, you know. You're you're towards the end of the film. Oh, you're real, real seven or eight. Excuse me. So you're at the end of the film. Now, what if, what if that's the case for this game? But you are you already had a friend captured, and he's in the basement of the house. And that's your goal. And that's your goal to rescue your friend who's hung up on a hook down in the basement, like we've seen so many times before in the mm -hmm. franchise. So that. Somebody's locked and stuck in that, you know, Leatherface's little playpen down there. Yeah. And you have to find a way to go get them. Yeah. Um, at the same time, there should be other objectives that once you do get him, you have to get out. So let's say you have to fix up your van or you have to get your van back. And, and think just 
things you can take from the movies that could go right into a game. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's really tough to figure out balance wise and how long the game should be and what kind of objectives there there needs to be. Right. Because I mean, that seems a little bit harder for the counselors because then you'd have to, you know, figure out how to get in without being detected, save them, get them off the hook, repair the van all the while. Yeah. And can you like, would it be too easy for, could a killer camp just the basement, you know, and like right. rock on that you guy? You can't get step one done. So you can do two, two, three and four, but he's camping. So step like, there one. had, if, if that were to be the case, if somebody was in the basement, you had to save them. You, there needs to be something else that makes Leatherface leave the basement, right? Yeah. Like, there needs to be a reason, something you can do to just escape in general. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that is just fixing the van and leaving, something like that. Maybe, maybe you know, you throw that uh, extra survivor on there for just extra points. Or, or there's two of them. There's one in the basement and there's one somewhere else. And that way he has to pick one, which one he wants to fucking camp. Yeah. You know? So, well, like, okay, if we're looking at the remake, for example, you have the little girl that kills herself. Like... You don't, like, what if there was someone like that who you don't know, who's Mm -hmm. a stranger, who's in, like, it could be a garage, it could be anything. You know, that that property Mm -hmm. was huge, right? So you have that person, and then you have somebody in the basement that was with you and your group, and you had to pick one to save. Well, not, you don't have to pick one, you can save both. But that way, Leatherface, whoever's playing the killer, has to go back and forth and can't just camp one or the other. Yeah. Of course, once you get one, then you can... Then you can just camp the other one, but then you could just leave if you wanted to. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you want to look at it. Yeah, no. I mean, there's a ton of fun, fun things you can do. But again, to make a, I mean, we can spit out ideas all we want, but it needs to be balanced at the end of the day. Right. So, I mean, Leatherface is going to have to have some sort of uh, ability, not you know, morph, shift. But maybe he can. Maybe you know, he has a better sprint than you know some of your other family members. Right. Um, maybe, yeah, he hasn't a charged attack. I mean, Dead by Daylight kind of has a charged attack, right? Uh, for There's like a lunge, and certain people have better lunges and things like that. Right. So, I mean, uh, you can implement something like that. <sighs> Other than that, I, I can't really think of what else much to do multiplayer-wise. I mean, there's tons of ideas, but putting them in practice is, uh, is a whole other story. Yeah, you know, until you can code something and test something, you don't really know if it's going to work. Uh, I do think it'd be cool. You know, like, at the end of Friday the 13th games, you see Pamela Shrine. Mm-hmm. I think it'd be neat if, at the end of the game, if, like, if Leatherface was the winner, if the family had more kills and there were survivors, they're all sitting at the dinner table. Mm-hmm. Laughing at you? Like, yeah. laughing at the camera? Yeah, or just eating you, bro. They're eating the oh. bodies. That's yeah. fucked. And then if they lose, then Grandpa is sitting there, dead, and... Fucking Leatherface is crying because he's getting yelled at because he didn't get any food. <laughs> yeah, he's just sitting there getting like reamed by the yeah. grandpa. Yeah, that'd be funny. No, it, it like we said, you know, million ideas, but putting them into actual practice and balance wise is uh, it's very very difficult. Yeah, but let's talk about uh, some other ideas like single player type ideas. Uh, it, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre has the has like every other horror franchise has the ability to be within. This until dawn type of vibes, mm-hmm. and, and and to be in a, a story like that, that's cinematic and driven by your a, a game with, well, a movie within a game, you know, I think Texas Master has the ability to do that, especially yeah. because it's driven, it's more because it, it's more of a family type element. I think you, you could, I think it'd be cool in Texas Master to go back and forth between being a survivor, yes, and being the Leatherface family. I was family. just about to say that. Yeah, like you could go back and forth and like. You know, play both those roles and and, and gain both stories for each. Because like, while Leatherface is an antagonist, he's also like a bullied, ugly kid who right. who was just trying to save his family and, and was grown <laughs> up in a fucked up family. Right. Um. Yeah. It'd be really interesting. You know, you start out on your vacation and you're at the gas station, and you know the, the gas station attendant shows up and he's creeping you out as you know the movies went, and then. All right, okay, you get through a couple little uh, se- sequence or whatever, and then now you're Leatherface and you're killing someone, da da da, and then you go back, yeah, and you go back in time and see Leatherface getting bullied, and maybe maybe there is something that you do in a school or something. Yeah, like, like I like I like games for early in movies even so, like where you go through one scenario, you see a story from one perspective, and then you go back, yes. and you do the story again, but from someone else's perspective, yes. and, but it plays out so differently each time, yes, even though it's the same thing. Right. I think and, that's cool. Yeah, and you know, maybe maybe you have choices. Maybe maybe Leatherface like can a just, butterfly effect. Yeah, maybe Leatherface can take the bullying in school. 
maybe he fights back and gets in yeah. trouble. And he never really, because like, it depends which, because which, there's so many fucking leather face <laughs> right. uh, chains, you know? Um, but really, like, he didn't go to school. Like, he, they found him. And, right. Yeah, and, like, they just took him into this, che- this cheap hick house. But, I mean, uh, with a video game, you can, you know, as long as you have somewhat of the same source material, you can add your own backstory to right. it. Um, which is, I mean, which is great. It offers a lot more options. Um, but, yeah, I think I think single player would be really fun to, to see that. And, yeah, go back and forth from the from the teenagers, the survivor perspective to right. the family. And you spend time in the house getting yelled at as Leatherface. Maybe now you're the hitchhiker and you, you're hitchhiking and you're, you're trying to weird them out and yeah. stuff, shit like that. Like anything in a single player game, you know, would be would be really fun. It, you know, in like multiplayer, even so, like and in single player, you get these different skins. Mm-hmm. One thing about Leatherface, even in the original, there's so many fucking skins. Yeah. Like you could have so many different looks throughout it. You, uh, the, the original, even Texas Chainsaw Massacre two and three have very different looks, and then the remake has a very different look, and then uh, the new be- uh, new beginner, or uh, the yeah. next generation, or I'm next, gener- <laughs> next generation. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Like oh, the beginning. There's the beginning, and then there's the next generation, and then there's Leatherface, Leatherface, and then Texas Chainsaw three D, and like there's all these fucking looks. Uh, yeah, it's just. There's just a lot you could do and a lot to run with in terms of content. Yeah, yeah, really interesting, you know. But obviously, we're not uh, we're not involved in <laughs> in game development or uh, or publishing. We don't know how uh, how hard anything we just said, you know, is. Yeah, right. To create, right. Um, but this is just our ideas. Uh, yeah, and that's what we're here for. And, and the things with the with these movies that are surrounded by woods <laughs> and like camping and traveling, they're all very similar. So like Friday the Thirteenth, Texas Massacre, and like uh, Hatchet and Victor Crowley, those are going to be really similar. Uh, where it changes drastically is how you tell the story within single player and challenges and and content. And, and, and like that's where it's drastically different. The yeah. gameplay style, though, there's only so much you can do in an asymmetrical multiplayer setting, considering especially because. These ideally would be indie, lower budget type games. Mm-hmm. Maybe you could bring on some bigger developers, but you're looking at pretty low budget games, right? And then you know, a, a, a good thing about Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a, a lot of the the horror and the violence happens in the daytime. You know, you get it, some true. of these horror movies that only weird shit happens at night. Yeah. So um, you have different you know maps that cater to different times of day, and you could even have the same map at day, same map at night. Right. Or they go, you go from day to night in the game. Like you're at like sunset, and yeah. it's just getting darker and darker. And as as you're as it's getting darker, your fear goes up. It could change how much you trip and things like that. Like yeah, be you know a lot of fun, a lot of fun for sure. Right. Yeah, I'd be really excited. I'd love to see it. Uh, I love Texas Master, especially the original. I'm not a big fan of the sequels. Um, I was never big into like the franchise as a whole. I've seen yeah. them all, but they were just kind of. Eh. And the remake wasn't terrible. It really wasn't. Which one? Like the 2003 one? Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I think it's really cool. I think he's aggressive as shit. But uh, you know, to, uh, Toby Hopper, uh, Toby Hopper's original story is an interesting mm-hmm. one. It changed a lot of things in, in the horror genre. It, and, and you know, with Gunnar Hansen passing, yeah. that's another thing too. Yeah, you know, that brings uh, it makes it a little more special. Right. Uh, you know, Gunnar, you know, didn't you know contribute to the writing or the producing of the original. Um, he was just Leatherface, but yeah. but you know it'd be really special to you know see Leatherface whooping ass, right? Original Leatherface, right? It'd be cool, yeah. And especially like I think it'd be interesting just hearing him screaming and swinging the the chainsaw around yeah. and like it's something we saw in Dead by Daylight, but not to what it what it's really like, you know? Right. And we got a lot of comments on our Halloween. It, it, Halloween game. It's right. just like it's just in Dead by Day. Like go play that. But like, I hear really, you. That's, like, I, that's that's what, what you want. want. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's what you want. Seriously. Like like I'm not saying in Dead by Day it's a bad game, and I don't think they really. I don't think they did Halloween too bad. I think he kind of looks like shit, um, but he plays really well, and he is a strong character, yeah, and, and things like that. But but like if you could have one, if you could have a Halloween game, wouldn't you want it? Right. Right. And, and the same thing with like I mean with a Halloween game and with a Texas Chainsaw Massacre game like customizability right can you wear you know 15 different skins in dead by daylight as your leatherface can you be dinner scene leatherface can yeah. you be leatherface in part two is the no. story of leatherface captured within the gameplay absolutely no. not you get a cool neat backstory as you read as you're selecting the character and that's it like you're not getting a story you get a map right. oh not even with leatherface leatherface no. is just a character he didn't have a, a chapter right um but yeah i, I just th- like these characters 
are iconic. Iconic, iconic horror figures yep. that shaped a lot of what we know today. Mm-hmm. And I think they deserve their own games. And I think they would do very well. I yeah, mean, yeah. Friday the 13th, the game is a, you know, a clear indication that people love their horror franchises and love seeing them move from the big screen to the video game world. Yeah, hate, hate F-13 or not, uh, it made a lot of fucking money. And it proves that there is there is a fan base out there that wants to play these types of games. Mm-hmm. So let's fucking keep it going. Let's get some Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let's get some Halloween. Toss Scream in the mix. I don't care. Dude, Just like, I just want more horror games. Done right as well. Done right. Don't, don't throw them together for a quick book. Yeah. And that's your only reason. Exactly. And that goes for movies too. God yes. damn it. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw, it's been, a, it's been a bit of a mess uh, lately. So I'd love to see a, a new, good, great Texas Chainsaw film. But yeah. I don't know if... I don't know if we're going to be able to see that because it's just quick, quick cash grabs. Really, you, you, you know can throw like, it together quick. When Texas Chainsaw 3D was planned, there was like seven sequels written yep. for it, and they were like, and then the movie bombed. It got mm-hmm. shit on, and I was like, well, <laughs> we're not going to do that. <laughs> the right. Motherface happened, and then that kind of bombed too. And it's like, just take the time and do it right. Damn, Blumhouse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Toss it to somebody that cares. Toss yeah. it to somebody that truly likes the franchise and is going to do it justice. Yeah. And I think in a movie or video game world, as long as they care. I think you you'll be fine. Yep. You know. Okay. Well, that's our thoughts. <laughs> that's our text chainsaw game. Let us know your thoughts and comments below. Uh, maybe run with our ideas. Make it, let's share your own ideas. I'd love to hear them, and we'll dive into a discussion in the comments below. But that's wrap today's video. If you enjoyed, it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Nick, you saying something? No. I always gotta catch you off guard every time. <laughs> with that, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.